Let me show. Hi there, I'm Jake, and welcome to the Fully Focused Shoot in collaboration with Centerpoint. This is the second film we're doing. Let me come and show you around. So how are you doing today? I'm fantastic, how are you? I'm very well, very well, very excited with this project. Could you tell me how you heard about Fully Focus? I think via a friend, Sabrina. Sabrina. So yes, good old Sabrina. Sabrina Raffs, uh, a friend of mine from college. And she'd always say she's going to a meeting like on a Thursday. I think it was on a Thursday in North London. And then after that, um, I did a project in 2015 or 16, whole documentary and then Fully Focus came on set to do behind the scenes and that was that. And um, for me personally, what, what I've learned most is about people who are homeless and, and, and kind of like the stigmas that they have um, um, on them and how personally I didn't know a lot of things that the government are doing and others who others in the system who are letting these young people down, man. Um, who are deceiving them and, and saying they're going to do this and never fulfil it. So take some responsibility. It's not difficult. It's meant to be written in language you can understand anyway, but worst case, you go to the Citizens Advice Bureau, because trust me, people like your man are going to take advantage thinking you don't know the law. Got it. The project is important because it needs to inform people. I think this is a very um, informative project, you know. And, and, and it has a lot of facts about those who are homeless, young people especially. And I think people need to understand what these young people are going through and, and understand that they need help and, and, they, and they need people to depend on because it's hard. James, so James is a 22 year old um, who um, is, is moving into a flat and um, he meets Michelle, a girl he knew from the hostel. So we've, we first meet him when um, he kind of loses his job, which I guess is kind of sad, but it's, it's reality, it's the harsh realities of life. And um, we, we just, via flashback, we just see the relationship he used to have with Michelle and, and how he used to live in this, like, in, in, live in a hostel. And um, he's now moving into a flat, which the board, the board is not working. And even though the landlord should have fixed it, but the board is not working. And, and James is a, he's a young boy who, who has a lot of hope and who has a, a warm heart, a very emotional person who has a warm heart and, 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 I, and I think it's almost like, again, that we do trust. You know what you need? A job. Oh, yeah, thanks, that helps. Yeah, cheers, Michelle. Like everything we do with Fully Focus, we do this for two reasons. One, because we want to make content about issues that we think help society as in general. And two, because you and all the squad are the next generation of content makers and you need to be given the platform so that we have the opportunity to tell a diverse range of stories within our industry. Ah. Hmm. Wait, where's your bike? <coughs> oh. I lost it. A, a bike? Yes, yes, yeah, I lost a, my whole bike. bike? Yes, I lost my whole oh, bike, man. Okay. okay, so how are you going to deliver food pot? That bike. To be fair, I'm just uh, I'm just playing a manager, so I'm like the manager there, and um, yeah, I, 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 it's not much really. I, I know that I'm just very busy, a bit very just shrewd and sharp and just to the point, very blunt. Uh, but yeah, it, it will be fun. It will be fun, and it's just kind of like I just kind of came down to you know to meet everyone and and uh, hopefully we can you know keep working on other things and other projects as well because I believe in what you guys are doing, so it's it's pretty cool that I'm here. As I said, my manager, like, you know, yesterday he filled me in. Um, I was l looking at a lot of things that you've done uh, in the past and I was just like, I was just really impressed and it was just one of those ones where, you know, I'm so busy with my own stuff that you, you ask my friend JP, say, he knows I'm just like literally everywhere 24-7 doing this, this and this. So he was just like, look, trust me, these are people that, you know, you want to be around, you know. So, um, yeah, I, I just kind of, wanted to meet you guys and, and just kind of be a part of this uh, really cool project. Riding my pony. 
So I'm here with the man that is Teddy. Obviously, day off his birthday on a mad oh, no. shoot. Happy birthday for yesterday again. Thank you, thank you. But how would you sum up today? Um, today was a beautiful day. Yeah, it was. It was smooth. Obviously, we ran over a little bit, but we, it was our hardest day today. We had a big location move. We had a lot of scenes, but it's always a pleasure working with all these beautiful people. Everybody went in. There's some really nice moments. I'm grateful um, to everyone, and I think yeah, it's a very, very positive day. We've got an, another couple of nice cameos. So tomorrow, Vuj is coming in. Direct from New York. Yes. Yeah, Sunday, Nevin. No, tomorrow, Nevin. Nick Nevin's coming in. Sunday, Vuj is coming in. Okay. Then Monday, we've got Deacon and yeah. you and Coyote in the oh, scene man. together. So how are you feeling about that? Well, just look at the face. Like, it's mad. I can just it. tell by how you held that mic you've been speaking to out there. I'm going to find out. Very, uh, very smart. Oh, thanks. I've, uh, I've fixed your boiler in there. <laughs> so, okay, so I play a, a boiler repairman, obviously Corgi registered, obviously, of course, of course. you know, all above board here. He ain't yeah. some fly-by-night cowboy. No. You know, he's been divorced, you know, 10 years. So yeah, we just start you here and just put it down like that. Oh, cool. Boom. Teddy hit me up. Obviously, I've worked with him before, and uh, he just said, "Look, I've got this. Um, I've got this really great project. I want you to get involved in. It's not." He told me straight. He said, "Look, it's not much for you to do, but I'd love you to be involved." And I said, "Yeah, man. You know, it's a good director." So I just thought, "Fuck it, I'll uh, jump on board." The, the fully focused team are great. Okay, they're great. They work hard, and they're doing some some great, great work. But they need to move into features. They've done a lot for other people now, it's time to do something for themselves, mm. is what I'm trying to say. No, I, I hear you know? that. I've, I've been a part of Fully Absolutely. Focus for the whole time, yeah. so I love what we do. Absolutely, man. but you'd like to do a feature film though, right? Would, yeah, it would be nice. You Absolutely, know? man, that's what I'm saying to you. Man-like! Man -like. Man -like. Man -like. Man -like. Man -like. There we go, mate, it's just a standard, assured. Shot hold tennis agreement, all the normal stuff, just a you know, few fees. The fact I've showed you around in a viewing fee, you have got my food and my parking as well. He <laughs> can't charge you for that. Yo, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, right? Um, I've always wanted to get into acting. It's not that what made me do it was I just got a call. Got a call. <laughs> a coyote uh, messaged me. Um, Yo, we've got this acting thing. Do you wanna come down and do a scene, cameo? I was like, yeah, fuck it. Uh, the producer as well, I'm not even sure who it was, man. Nick, I believe. Uh, he was like, you contacted me? Yo, do you want to do it? I said, yep, I'm down. I was um, on work slash holiday in America when they shouted me. And I like, I like new experiences, man. I think acting is a very, very, very kind of... People, people don't respect it enough, man. This shit is hard. Mm. At, like acting, acting, scripted acting is, is difficult. Like, the amount of shots you do, scenes you take, yeah, I like, I like being challenged, so that's the reason I took it. It's just a challenge and something new, like, why not? Take it or leave it. Exactly four months. We were official after six, so you can't tell me nothing, man. Oh, come on, the 100, I beg you. Come on. Sorry, baby. 50. Bro, I beg you. Are you deaf or something? You said 50, all right? Take it or leave it. Stupid. Not you, babe. I won't call you stupid. So I'm here with the one and only Adam Deacon. How you doing, What's bro? going on, bro? How's, how's your day been? It's been really good, man. Obviously, we, we, yeah. we was in the scene together. Yeah, man. We're brothers. Yeah, I play a character called Samuel. I think he's just a bit of a hustler and bustler. He's out there just to make a bit of quick money. So, um, he's just there, kind of doing his thing, making money on the road, bumping his little brother, <laughs> ripping him off. And uh, yeah, he's just a bit of a, just a, I guess a bit of a waste man. A bit of a waste man. He's obviously cheating on his girl, which ain't good. Um, and he's trying to speech it to his girl, and yeah, he is a bit of a waste man, I guess. And it's very easy to become homeless, like, you know, at whatever age, you know, you just have to lose your job, or, you know, you might be living a certain life and think everything's cool, but it can just change like that, and you can mm. find yourself homeless. So I think it is a, an issue that affects a lot of people, and I just think, you know, in 2017, homelessness really shouldn't be an issue that we're facing like this, man. It should be somewhere to live for everyone. No, that's very true, man. I think the fully focused team are doing a great job in what they do because it's people that you know they, they, they want to get into the industry they're hungry for it it's young people that might not have necessarily been given the opportunity and you know the fact that the young people that are 
we're fully focused on then going off to work with you know films and other production companies and doing their own thing i think the platform it offers is just it's amazing man it's you know you can just you can tell that everyone's so passionate about what they're doing as well and there's a real family vibe to it you know mm. it's, it's a good happy set and that's not always the case so i think it's brilliant man first time here right yeah You don't have to worry, you know. It's cool. That's far as hostels go. I'm James, by the way. As an actor, what's some of the most important work to me is meaningful work. Um, and this project about homelessness was both educational and really raw. And I'd seen some of the uh, projects that Fully Focused had recorded before, and I was super impressed. I think they were, they were really raw, really powerful, and I was really excited to be involved. I think it's giving people access to information that they're really not aware of. I mean, I, as a, as a tenant of properties in the past, I've, <laughs> I've actually learned a lot from the script here anyway. And I think this film does it in a really clever way um, to, to make it relatable and also get the point across. Michelle is um, somebody who has gone through homelessness herself. She's been in a very vulnerable situation with um, some abuse in the family. Um, she meets James at a point um, in the, f the beginning of the film where she's progressing her life to, um, to get a stable job and a stable living situation. So she's, she's in a lot uh, more of a position of strength when she, when she meets James. But she's been through homelessness and she's been through hostel, the hostels system. Um, and the point where she is in her life, she's able to reach out to James and guide him through what he can do to help himself. Because in those situations, you can't always help yourself if you don't have the information that you have. And it's actually just really refreshing to be amongst uh, a, a, a company of youth, of youth, you know. Uh, with new ideas, fresh energy, um, and a new perspective, and it's it's really nice to be part of a collective with voices from all areas, kind of thing. You know, but everyone's got something to contribute. You know, um, and that's really nice. It's a really collaborative. Project.